What the f is going on? Today we're talking batteries, charge, voltage, CCAs, performance. What's the difference? Stay tuned in a minute. So as we know, I'm getting ready to sell the shadow eventually. And the most important thing that I, or most people would need to have would be the battery, right? The battery, the battery. You buy a battery, it comes with a battery, you need the battery to turn the bike over. And in order to do that, you have to have a healthy battery. And one of the best ways to determine if your battery is healthy or not, is not by the volts, because volts don't mean anything. You wanna look at the CCAs, the cold cranking amps. Think of it as torque. How much umph can the battery ugh, spin that bike over to get you started? Now, if you have a bad battery that's not good, not healthy, and you plug that in and a trickle charger and you put a voltmeter on there and you're like, oh, look it, I got 12 volts. That means it's full. Does not mean it's full. You can have 12 volts in the battery, but as soon as you try to turn that key and turn that bike over, boo, it will fall right on its face and it won't tar turn over. Now, you're like, well, how do I determine that? Well, that's where this episode comes in. One, we wanna find out the CCAs of the battery. We wanna make sure that it's healthy enough. If it's not, then I'll have to go out and buy a battery and put it in again so when whoever buys this, it is literally turnkey ready. And if the battery is healthy, then I'm not gonna go ahead and drop, you know, over a hundred bucks on a nice battery because it's healthy enough. I'll have the confidence that they can just go, they can leave and turn it on and uh, be ripping. All right? So the stock battery in your Honda goes in a lot of size, usually it's by size, by dimension. I know off the top of the head, it's a YZ14S. Is it? I don't know. I'm supposed to know this and I gotta tell you. YTZ. Yes, so the battery that's stock, YTZ14S. Um, and I know that that battery has 230 CCAs, cold cranking amps. How do I know this? Because I looked it up right before picking up the camera. But if you didn't know what it is, look on the side of the battery yourself, it will tell you the CCA, so you know the range of what you're going for. Now, CCAs are good and all, but how are you going to meter that? Well, that's where a CCA battery tester will come into play. Now, my brother's got this systematic tester basic snap-on for probably 400 bucks. And then my local shop turned me on to this Amazon special, which is 20 bucks. So we're gonna see 400 to 20. Is Snap-on all that worth it? Probably not, <laughs> I might get some heat. Again, I don't care, Not nobody's paid affiliates here. But my uh, shop is like, oh yeah, go on Amazon, get this battery thing. I'll put a link in the description below. And I wanna compare, I wanna compare this as it sits now to this $400 basic Snap-on battery tester. I'm sure other ones have different gizmos that can do crazy shit, but I don't care. All I care about today is the CCAs, and that's exactly what this Conway did, does, reads. Anyway, so we gotta get to the battery. I conveniently had the seat off already because I was still working on the rear swing arm. Uh, Rear, what is it? Rear sissy bar, because it's uh, trying to get that all neat and neat. All these wires, this is the, I have an LED wiring harness in here. I call it safety lights in case you ever get pulled over, but yellow is legal. All right. So you pop your seat off with two bolts here. They're hex heads, think the number five. Pop it out, move my cables. Normally you wouldn't see this in your bike and you know you have your little computer here and the battery holder's here, but I gotta get a Phillips screw to pop this out so I can reach the battery to get the clippies on. Come on. 
Pretty straightforward so far. Okay. I actually have a hookup at Interstate. So I like to use Interstate batteries because uh, I don't know. I just switched over to them over Yayuasa and there's other bike brands. Like I got the Firepower, which is this cheapy cheap in the ground, but uh, mine will be a little different, but the specs are the same. Just a different manufacturer, different uh, different stickers. And this looks like, oh, see, I could spend forever since I had this thing apart. August, 2021. This battery is uh, freaking new. Only two years old, right? 21 to 22. Yeah, not even. Oh, I feel confident already. I'm using my Ridge wallet to open tape. Whatever, it works, right? All right, so $20 Amazon thing. What do you get? You get paperwork. You get the meter. Like a gun, red is dead. Whoop. Oh! Yep, it flashed. All right, no batteries required. No batteries required, you just plug it in. Please check connection. I am. Check, 11.83 volts. Uh, it's in the vehicle. First time I'm using this cranking test. Turn off the engine. Yeah, I know, it's off, okay? Oops, don't fuck move. Start engine. I don't know, I've never done this one before, so here we go. Okay, she's dead cold. Dark. Gonna get the choke on. Yeah. RPM detected. Yeah. Okay. Exit. Let's redo it. Oh, never should have did that, I don't think. Here, okay, check. In vehicle, battery, no, cranking test. Turn off engine before pressing enter. It's off. Start the engines. Okay, racers. Okay, battery test good. It's saying recharge. <coughs> Try to open the door. A lot of exhaust in here. Ugh. I'm killing myself. I'm killing myself for viewers. All right. All right, it didn't tell you the actual number. Whatever. It says the cranking amps are low. I'm gonna try now this snap-on basic one. Red, come on, fucking thing. Okay, piss me off, snap on. Come around. Snap on, battery, motorcycle, YTZ14S. Testing, charge and retest, CCAs 118, 33%. The benefit of the snap on, at least it tells you the CCAs, gives you an actual number, but both tests are saying that it's low. Yep. Just let the con we fall off the fury, hit the freaking ground. Well, uh. let's try it running. <laughs> CCA or not, that just tell them that's dead. Now I gotta buy a battery. Fuck! All right, well, $400 Snap-on versus $20 Amazon Special. The Amazon Special does not tell you the actual number of the CCAs. The Snap-on does, so there's that, I guess, for convenience. But both units both said the battery is bad. So, that being said, I didn't really have it through trickle charge, uh, plugged in, you know, the past over the winter and whatnot. That might have something to do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on trickle charger. Uh. Let that sit overnight, a couple hours later, and then I will retest it again. If the battery both times now it says low, if the next time it says low, then damn it, I gotta go ahead and get a battery because I don't wanna sell a bike and have them come back to me and be like, you sold me a bike and it doesn't start because the battery's shit and I had to go buy a battery. What the fuck? What do you want? So I eliminate all of that problems by giving you the best of the best, right off the bat, turnkey. Now I can ask for more money. I'm gonna have to ask for more money. 
because I don't want to lose out on the battery here. Okay, so. First the battery was good, then both units said it was bad. It probably just went bad immediately right as I was doing stuff. So anyway, both units both said, uh, plug it in, trickle charge it back up, and then we'll run the test again. So we'll let this go over some time and we'll do it again. If it fails, then f I'll go ahead and find a battery. Cheap one at this now, I I'm breaking the bank here. I already spent six, $700 getting this thing road worthy, road ready. Uh, that's it for now. I put the battery on the charger. It's been a couple days. I am now putting the snap on, back on. Let's see what it says. Okay, snap on, battery, motorcycle, YTZ14S. That's the battery size, testing. Battery good. 280 CCAs. That's fine. Whew. That tells me one thing. I don't have to buy a new battery. That being said, with the snap-on, we're going to go ahead with our Conway $20 doohickey battery. Check connection. Maybe it's not all the way on. Check. In via cranking test. Start engine. Testing. Cranking normal. The Conway works, tells the battery it's good. The snap-on works, tells the battery is good. The snap-on has the feature of telling you the exact CCAs, where this just kind of generically tells you if the battery is good or not. Uh. $400 versus $20, I mean, you decide. I'm glad I just got this little doodad here. I feel confident with this battery. And to hell, with the, the uh, Battery Tender Junior, they're only like 40 bucks. If I'm gonna sell this for whatever I am, I'll just give them one of my old uh, my old trickle chargers. Be like, here, here you go, battery's good. I got this, throw it in. Maybe I might be able to sell it a little bit better. Anyway, that's it. That's today's episode. The battery is good. Next thing I gotta work on is get rid of the rust off the freaking chrome bit so I can powder coat that, make it look neat so there's no more pitting, you don't see it. I'll make them black, make them look good. Whew, so happy I don't gotta buy a battery, all right? Catch you on the flip side. Peace.